Hey, what's good? It's Tommy G out here practicing positive karma on a daily. Because whatever you put out in the universe, you will get back. So why not positive? Man, out here in the sunlight practicing these three mm -hmm. incentives, man. 10 minutes of sunlight, 30 minutes of exercise, and at least eat something green every day. Uh, my girl about to get off work, so we're about to go eat lunch. But I want to hop out here real quick, give me some steps in, knock down some of that 8.5K. I'm gonna walk to uh, Tom Thumb, probably give me a drink or two. Uh, let y'all know about some changes I got going on, but before that, I'm gonna tell y'all about the daily affirmation. It's my, I feel like my video lagging, but it's all Gucci. Uh, daily affirmation is be confident, be patient, and always be you. Be confident, be patient, and always be you. Be confident, be patient, and always be you. And I have another one, and then I'm going to put out another daily affirmation. So I'm going to put out three, because today uh, uh, I'm not going to put, put out daily affirmations at this point. Uh, moving forward, I'm going to do uh, a word, and then I'm going to give you all my definition of it. It's going always, to always be like a positive word, and I'm going to give you all uh, my definition of it to, uh, to improve whatever situation you got going on. So I'm going to put out... A word and then I'm gonna give y'all my definition of the word so uh, it's gonna be positive though man because my thing is to get your mind and uh, moving in a positive direction that's why I say I'm practicing positive calm on a daily and uh, it don't mean that nothing bad is gonna happen it just mean that you're gonna go into everything with a positive mindset you know it's easy, it's easy to think negative stuff so we got to get on that that train to uh, training our minds to be, have easy, positive thoughts. I'm up here a quick trip, so I'm gonna stop right here real quick, post up, finish this video, see how many steps I got going on right now. Uh, yeah, if y'all got these Fitbit watches, y'all know that I got over 3.5, so I'm gonna walk back. Uh, like I said, my girl gonna pick me up for lunch. Uh, I'm out here practicing the three essentials I want to post up. I'm on a quick trip real quick, use the restroom. And I'm going to hit Tom Thumb. Hopefully she'll pick me up at Tom Thumb night. I'm on a marching back. It's hot out here. But it's good, man. That sun, get you, get your energy, man. Make sure you get that sun energy. Make sure you're walking in the grass with your bare feet. Make sure you're putting your palms to the sky. Make sure you're re-energizing yourself, man. Re-energizing your thoughts. So, uh... This is the third quarter, man. So third quarter, I'm gonna have to re uh, restructure some stuff. I need to get back on my uh, on my uh, sticky notes and, and knocking out goals, and finish them in, uh, in timely fashion. And the way I had it was, we was doing about 30 minute squares. So I got to get back to my 30 minute squares, and I got to keep uh, get focused, man, because it's so easy to be unfocused than in focus. Y'all got that? It's so easy to be unfocused than to be in focus. You gotta be in focus with the dreams and visions that you have. So make sure that you're focusing in. And it's okay if you wanna be unfocused sometime, man, pick a day where you can be unfocused all day. But make sure you're getting everything you need done. Like, you know, I still got uh, this book I'm finishing. I got unfocused a little bit. I ain't been writing like I have. I ain't wrote in uh, since I've been back from my uh, vacation, so I gotta get this book finished. No excuses no more. Get this book finished. I gotta get social glitches finished. No excuses no more. I'm getting in focus. I've been out of focus too long, so I'm being in focus. I'm gonna get these 10 short shot. In focus. I'm focusing in. So that'll be my first keyword, but I'm gonna put it out tomorrow. Focus. The way we focus. It's get in focus. You know what I'm saying? Visualize what you want done. Write what you want done uh, down. And crush it. Crush your goals. You already know. I preach on crushing goals. And setting goals high. And, uh, and, and crushing them joints. So, yeah. Uh, what else? I'm uh, taking my girl to the movies, man. So make sure that you still stay on top of family. I mean, that's the way of structuring yourself out. You structure exercise i do exercise in 
I do, I, I kind of try to knock out two things at one time. So I do exercise and I do this blog. Uh, I work and then, you know, I do, I just do different things. So I got to make sure that I'm, I'm focused in this structure because uh, I can get unfocused, uh, man. You know, there's so much things that, uh, so many things that uh, unfocus you that uh, you got to focus in, you know. It's TikTok, it's Instagram, it's Facebook, all these social medias, it's TV, uh, even the stuff that you read. So I always preach on being on a diet. You got to uh, digest yourself. You got not even just from your foods. You got to uh, diet from what you watch, what you read, who you're around. Those people being negative, you don't need to be around them, even if they're family members. You can hug them at family gatherings, you know. Uh, just be your peace man and make sure that you uh stay on top of your own peace and that diet is all that you know what i'm saying what you watch what you read what you listen to uh who you're around the things that you eat so make sure you stay on top of all that and uh said that to say this man subscribe to the youtube our goal is 2,000 subscribers by the end of the third quarter because we in quarter three today july 1st uh, happy third quarter uh, to all my business owners, man. Make some great shake. Uh, I hope you made some great shake in quarter two. Make sure you make some shake great in quarter three. And uh, we're going to do big things. You know, I got the candle business. I got a book that I'm read, uh, writing. I got a, movies to shoot, movies to edit. I got um, uh, uh, um, business plans. I'm putting together a course. I, I, did, I, I taught a class yesterday some little kids and you know man a lot of these kids got this tiktok mentality so parents get them kids off tiktok man make sure that they have patience in doing something productive they need to learn patience they need to learn how to be confident so that's why i put that out because that's what i preached on yesterday i know i was supposed to be talking about fair making but i talked to them about some real life situations as far as them being mentally healthy you know patience uh, don't be afraid to be terrible. That's why I told, uh, told them. Don't be afraid to be terrible because all the great started somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, you got to work on what you want to be great at. And you're not going to start out as a, a no professional. That's why they got different levels of uh, on video games and different uh, uh, things. They got expert and they got pro and they got uh, beginner. Yeah, everybody is a beginner to something. Even the greats, they begin somewhere, and guess what they did? They put in their work and time, practice, and I told them this, you know, practice makes improvement. I got that from Les Miles. Practice makes improvements because you can always better your best, but you'll never be perfect. So you can strive for that perfection, but you can always better that best. So uh, it, it, it resonates with me, you know, and then, you know, I always teach about ET. The person that does it every day wins. So. Uh, those two things stuck stick, stuck into my mind, so I need to do what I do every day. And I do do what I do every day, but I need to do stuff for me as well, not just for my clients. I mean, I love my clients, but I appreciate anybody to keep me in business. But uh, I got a business to run, man, so I need to run this right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my stuff together for the business so I can be a better business person for my clients. You know what I'm saying? So stay focused. Patient, be confident. You know what I'm saying? Sharpen your skills. Those are the things I taught in the class yesterday. So I'm gonna put together a class. Uh, it's my master class, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do one on film making. It's a lot of activity, a quick trip. So you see me looking around. There's a lot of stuff going on. I'm gonna do one on film making, and I'm gonna do one on graphics. Intro to graphics. Intro to film making. How you can uh, make a film with no money. So. There's a lot of people out here that's talking about that, but I really do it. But it's, I say no money, but you're going to need some money unless you're going to borrow cameras, equipment, people that's going to work with you for free that has this stuff. It can't happen. You got to set your mind to doing it. Set your mind to doing it and achieving it, and it will happen, man. That's why we keep talking about write down your goals. Say them out loud. Make them happen. You are a genius. I will be... A billionaire. I don't need. I need a billion dollars. I just need a little bit because I want to start a community. I'm gonna start a community. Uh, working on 
key words. That's why I say I'm gonna do key words this time because with key words, it's basically how did you how you see them and how can they shape you. So those key words, positive key words, and uh, I'm gonna show you how they shape uh, shape things into existence. You know what I'm saying? Because I always say, even in my bio on my Facebook, do into existence, speak into existence. Let's start with positive keywords. And then you got to know definition of different words because y'all might be using them wrong. You know? So I guess it's all about your perspective, your, your perspective of how the word should be. And sometimes it's not that. So you need to really kind of know what those words mean before you use them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I asked the class yesterday, what is repetition? You need to know what the definition of repetition is and, and, and what is to be confident, what is to, what is confidence? So I'm gonna teach those two classes. I'm gonna do intro to graphics and uh, beginners filmmakers from uh, zero budget, from zero budget to, uh, to, to a little bit of something, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna put that in play. And uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel I'm gonna do my Hustle Real podcast show is going, I'm going to bring it back, man. I'm going to knock that out. I know I've been doing this. I kind of pivoted because I want to put out 100 videos, 100 uh, 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 podcast videos. But I want to do, uh, I also want to do my uh, Hustle Real podcast show. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do these. I'm going to keep these rocking. And uh, I'm going to give you all this content on YouTube. And I also got the BTR TV channel and app. Hey, download it for free. And like I was saying, I was working with Kiki Shepard yesterday. She got a charity uh, reception that we had that I did yesterday. And she gave us a shout out, big shout outs to Kiki Shepard and, and her awareness to Secret Cell, man. You need to give flowers to the people that's actually doing stuff in the community that's uplifting. I got two nephews that's warriors of Secret Cell and they, they be in the hospital a lot. You know what I'm saying? need blood transfusions but though they also have to live on a daily day basis and they might be in pain man that's why i had to tell their dad like man you got warriors man they warriors because they be in pain a lot because of that the, the blood disease so uh make it happen so yeah i got i give uh i only give kiki her flowers he just, he just came out here. I, knew, yeah. I guess it's because it's hot he's like damn it's it is though, but uh, I'm gonna give Kiki her flowers. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Thank Keith Hope Foundation. We do the 5K walk every year. It's a, it's a good event to so give so we can find a cure to this thing, this uh, secret cell disease. And if you have the trait, like she said, if you have a trait and you know it, you need to, uh, if you don't know that you have a trait, you need to, whenever you get a checkup, you need to ask those type of questions. Do I have a trait? Because you can get with somebody that has the trait also and you can give every every one of your kids a one in four chance of getting secret cell i mean it's the possibility that they'll have a trait it's a possibility that they'll have secret cell it's a possibility that they might not have nothing but you need to be on top of that you need to be aware of that because you know in my family you did, we just really got to be aware of the things that you got going on in your family and i'm gonna just call my lean in here be aware of the things that you got going on in your family like my family my mom's and my dad a diabetic because uh but i didn't know it until i was grown and i you know and over the years this is the reason why i do the three days no uh no meat just fruits vegetables no carbs no sugars none of that i reset my body every uh every week is because i'm lightweight diabetic man and i know it because my mama and my daddy it ain't got nothing to do with me and it, it does it does though because growing up, my mama made pork chops, pork steaks. I don't eat pork anymore. I ain't been eating pork in years. I know I, 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 I still don't count it because I know a lot of stuff got pork in it and I might have ate some Doritos or something. And, and, you know, I, but I'm not going to fry up no pork chops and, uh, and eat pork chops. So the things that I don't know that have pork in it, I try, I try my best not to eat those things. I don't eat Doritos and, and, and you know, I don't eat uh, a lot of stuff because I read the labels and stuff now and i'll be aware of things that have a lot of sugar and drinks that have salt in them man that don't make sense why would you put it salt in the drink it's leaving me thirsty again you know so 
I just, you know, I'll be aware of it. I'll be aware of the things that I eat. That's why I, I do the three day reset my body Thursday. I start back eating uh, foods. Yesterday I ate some fried chicken. I know I shouldn't have ate it because I like to ease myself into the week. So I usually eat like a salad on Thursday with some chicken on it or a taco or some a sandwich with some bread. Just kind of ease myself back in it. So today I'm gonna probably eat something light like some tacos tenders but uh try to get something grilled and uh be a more aware so be aware of what, of what you got going on in your family that's all i'm saying so next time you go to the hospital hopefully i ain't this audio ain't good uh it's good because i've been letting it go i usually hold it to my mouth because it's my kit but hey really for real check to make sure that you ain't got the trait make sure that you ain't got diabetes in your family you need to check on all this because when you make with somebody, you gotta give your kids their chance, man. So that's why I tell my son selective breeding and I ain't trying to be funny, but uh, you need to be aware of all this stuff. You need to be aware of all this stuff. We all need to be aware of all this stuff. And then we need to realize uh, we need to do things to help. Like I pay for that 5K walk for my nephews. I can do it. I can do a little as that. I mean, I you know I pick them up, take them to the movies and different things like that because I'm super uncle. I'm that uncle that I wanted when I was younger. My uncles never picked me up, and I love my uncles to death. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love my uncles to death, but they never came and picked me up. They never trained me in football. They never did none of that. So I try to be that opposite. I'm gonna go to my nephew's seven on seven games. I'm gonna pick them up and give them food. You know, ask them how they doing. Stay on them. If they posted something on social media that's not right, you know, at least they ain't gonna say, Uncle, ain't tell me. Telling them, uh, we got plans in place to get you places, you know. I know uh, things, and it, it, this is the thing you holding knowledge, people hold knowledge and stuff from their own people. Like, I know what it takes to get my nephews to be one, and I know what, what kind of hustle you need and what kind of grind you need because. I was I played college football, so if you want to do D1, you got to do some step ups. You're gonna have to do some extra every day, and uh, it's a lot of work. It's grind. It's uh, education. Uh, it's going out to camps uh, out of state. It's spending money. It's spend money, so we won't have to pay for them scholarships. My son got a full ride scholarship to Kansas, and he had 13 offers, full ride offers, and he had one to Columbia you know and rice and you know you got to be smart to be in those schools so i preach education to my uh to my kids just for you and you know, and um uh, i'm gonna get off this thing man it's about to be 18 minutes but uh, i want to do something different today and look what this man got on the rice shirt i'm just tired through talking about rice but uh i'm gonna holler at y'all on the next one make sure y'all download that dtr tv channel and app make sure y'all buy a candle from notice since i'm gonna put the, all that in the description and uh, we got a film festival and all that, so uh, holla at your boy. All right, peace.